Welcome to PCSimulators.org and today we are going to look at the just recently released Rex Worldwide Airport HD. So we're going to go for an install and then we're going to see what it looks like. So what we're going to do first of all is um, look at a few airports without it installed and then check them back later and see what difference it's made. So um, it says here that um, there's six gigabytes of specific textures and 3D vehicle models included. So it's not just the airports, it's the vehicles. And it also says it's com fully compatible with third party add-ons. So this is my question was, are they going to be compatible with uh, airports that you've been installed from Aerosoft and UK2000? So it says it is, and it gives all the default airports an FSX team and prepare 3D payware style treatment. So uh, it says transform all the airports worldwide in one click, tailored for low end and high end systems. So we've got the reason for that is they give you a choice of default resolution or high definition. DX9, 10, 11 compliant, there's another one I've picked out. Um, Community-based sharing can be capability coming soon. I'm not, not quite sure what that is supposed to mean. So um, it's got auto update as well. 16 types of runway, edge and taxi lighting. Realistic dirty airport parking and jetway marks. Okay, so you know we can go through all that list and have a look. But the most important thing I picked out of there was the DX9, DX10, 11. Uh, the fact that it is uh, third-party compatible and it gives um, all the airports in not just FSX, Steam, but Prepare 3D, um, the payware style treatment. So, um, if you uh, haven't seen one of our videos before, we are PCSimulators.org. We have a website and a YouTube channel, and our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash ITYE, has lots of videos for various simulators, from FSX to a set of Corsa to um, GCS, um, everything that you can think of, and playlists as well. We are currently uh, um, on a project called the Virtual Journey, which is the Virtual Journey is a journey around the world using various PC simulators. So, for example, we might use um, a train in one, we might use an aircraft in one, and uh, European truck simulator too in another. Blah blah blah. So, be sure to check that out on our YouTube channel as well, of course, as our website www.pcsimulators.org for all the latest simulator news. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go and have a look at Rex. So, um, we've got a Rex um, download here, and um, oh, that's in the wrong place. So, we're going to Rex Worldwide Airports. We're going to double click the Rex installer and say uh, yes. And it's given us a welcome to Rex Worldwide Airports HD setup. So, before we do that, let's, um, let's open up FSX and uh, Let's open up P3D and get some airports and see what they look like. So um, I'm going to double click FSX and uh, I'll press it on pause until it loads and then come back. Okay, so FSX is just loaded in the background. We're going to look at a few airports, not a lot. Uh, we're going to look at Charles de Gaulle because I haven't got an add on for that. Uh, I've got Frankfurt add on. Um, Amsterdam Airport. Um, and maybe let's have a look at Barcelona. So we'll have a two or three. So first of all, we'll get the airport code for Charles de Gaulle, which I've got here, which is LFPG. So that's great. So let's go back to um, FSX. And we're going to click on um, change here. And then we're going to go to LFPG, which is Charles de Gaulle. And we're just going to change it to a helicopter, I think. Let's just change that to a helicopter so we can fly. It takes a while all the time when you click on change, so let's have a look. Okay, let's get a helicopter. Any helicopter will do. Let's go to craft. Uh, we'll go for the nice Bell Jet Ranger there. Default helicopter, because we don't want to be sort of um, trying to worry about and in a helicopter because we're looking to be looking around. So that's fine. Um, I click on fly now and um, wait for it to load. So here we go. I'll press pause again at this point and then we can have a look at the airport. So here we are at Charles de Gaulle. So we'll just take off and have a look at this airport. not really much here at the moment, so let's have a look. I think it looks like the main buildings over there. So we'll go towards that building and see what it looks like as default mode. Okay, it didn't look... 
but there's much detail around this airport, the airport. You can see, look at the floor, it looks a bit, looks a bit plain. Should have really started one on the ramps, really, or one of the gates, but there you go. So, it's okay, it's, it's, not, it's not amazing, the uh, detail, as you can see. There's not much happening there, look. So just remember that that's the B4. It's a great play. There, not really a lot happening. It's okay. In fact, there's no traffic here either, is there? So. It's okay, it's acceptable. It's, it's, let's just say it's acceptable, but uh, it doesn't look absolutely amazing. Is it? There's a building over here, look, Air France. Some more terminal over the other side. I forgot to put my track IR, so apologies for that. It's not switched off at the moment. So we'll do our best to have a look at um, this airport with our ordinary hat controls. So it, it's quite bland, really. Let's see what's over this side. So this is Charles de Gaulle Airport. Let's so turn onto back over to the terminal building. See, it's okay, but it's not. It's not fantastic, is it? There's not really much happening here. Sort of plain-looking buildings, etc., etc. So we'll just uh, fly over one more time. Okay, so that is the uh, airport here at Charles de Gaulle. Okay. So, okay, let's press pause a sec, and um, let's go to another airport. So, what was that other airport in our list? I think it was um, Amsterdam, wasn't it? So, we'll try Amsterdam, yeah, and uh, Schiphol. So, Amsterdam Schiphol is uh, Eham, I think it is. So, we'll go here. And while we're here as well, let's put on the traffic settings a bit higher. So, I click on traffic. Let's put the traffic up a bit so we can see a bit more what's going on. Let's put it up to 100 and that's, that's fine. Okay. And uh, I'll uh, wait for that to load. And go to Airport Eham. So go to Airport uh, by code Eham. And there's uh, Schiphol Amsterdam. So, okay, I'll let that load and be back in a second. Okay, so we're at Amsterdam. Let's see now what is around here. In fact, I can't see anything around here at all. So let's go to the right. There's one building there. Where's the rest of it gone? Is that over there? That looks like something over the inside. It's quite far away, isn't it, from the room where we are uh, uh, positioned at? So that looks like the main terminal building. Where were we positioned that far away? So that must be the active room. So let's move in here and have a look at uh, ship on. There you can see, again, not much happening. It's acceptable, and it's not, it's, it's, it is acceptable. Um, again, not much happening. You can see the buildings are a bit bland again. Let's get a closer look.
too bad actually really the default one it's it's pretty good i think but look the, when you look the other side and you can see the the, the there's lack of detail in, in sort of the buildings themselves so let's spin around here if you can hear a voice in the background that's my uh my son getting excited about disney infinity so here we go let's go up to this near the tower so very blocky there, you can see the blocks there, blocks of um, just blocks and some very simple textures on the, on the, uh, the glass etc. So um, that gives you an idea of what it's going to be like, what it's like here in Amsterdam. Let's just turn the aircraft around and uh, see if there's some more detail on this side. They're very, very simple, you know, that's, um, if you're wondering where the uh, aircraft have come from, I'm using my traffic which adds aircraft to certain airports. Okay. So that, that's great. Now, um, okay, we could try one more, I suppose. We'll try, uh, let's try uh, another airport, which is, um, <coughs> uh, we don't want to try the ones I've already got as a third-party add-on, so we want to try something that I haven't got a third-party add-on for. Let's try uh, Munich, so Munich Airport in Germany. Um <coughs> let's go back to here and go world go to airport by city this time munich munich in germany and uh, let's this time let's start in the gate so click on ok so again i'll press pause and we'll be back in a second at munich airport so here we are at munich so let's uh, just take off and see what is happening so we're in munich airport this is munich you see again the similar textures very blocky little vehicles as well um, my traffic's doing its job We've got another video on my traffic if you're interested. Um, we did a video a couple of days ago actually on my traffic, and uh, if you want to see how that works, how it looks, go to uh, our YouTube site and have a look at the video for my traffic. And, uh, you can have a look. This is very, very plain. Look at that texture there on the roofs. It's all sort of clean, really, and very computer looking graphics, and all those blocks down there. Very, very simple textures. So we've got an idea here of what it looks like at these three main airports that we've looked at just now. Charles de Gaulle in, in Paris, uh, Amsterdam Schiphol, and now in Munich. And you can see as well the surrounding area. Very, very gorgeous sort of there. Airport buildings and <coughs> lacking detail. Let's go over here and have a look at this kind of building. So it is, it is looking a bit not bad, but it's boring. And um, it looks like 19 silver, 1990 sort of graphics. So, now that you've got an idea, <coughs> what we're going to do, we're going to install all the, um, the airports and uh, Rex HD and see if there's a big difference in it, if it's worth buying this pack. I bought it anyway, so I can't really <laughs> take it back now, but I purchased it myself. I <coughs> haven't had the uh, package for free, so I purchased it myself. Best graphics here are the my traffic aircraft. So you can see how boring and dull these, these buildings are. So let's press pause. Let's get out of um, FSX and say yes, we want to equip that. And let's go back to um, Rex installer. So double click on Rex, click on yes, we want to install. And uh, it's just giving us introduction. So we click next. As usual, accept the license agreement after reading it if you want to. Click next again. And now we want a serial number. So at this point, I'm going to press pause, put my serial number in, and then carry on. Okay, serial, serial number has been entered. So um, it now says select which prerequisites will be installed, but there isn't any. So I don't know why that screen is actually there. So I click on next. Now I'm going to put in the default folder. If you want to change it, that's up to you. But I'm going to keep it as default because it's easier later on when you're reading through documentation to see what, what folders it's referring to. So I click next. And now we can begin the installation. So it's going to take a few minutes to install this and in the meantime again I'll press pause and when this is part is finished I'll reactivate okay we're ne nearly finished copying the files um, also uh, there is Rex to lots of other products not just the airports they do the textures overdrive uh, plus essentials is a pack where it in enhances all the textures in your game and uh, skies as well okay that's finished so click on finish so now you should get an icon on your desktop called Rex Worldwide Airports. This one here. Whoops. 
So let's right click that and it says to run as administrator. So right click, run as administrator, then say yes. That ensures it runs smoothly. And get this aircraft so sound. Okay, in a few seconds this should pop up. Hello? Where are you? There you go. So now you've got to do registration again. So I'll uh, do that bit and then click next. So yeah, again, I'll press pause. Okay, I've entered that uh, uh, information in, the serial numbers. Now, now you've got a choice here. You've got um, select your simulator. So we're going to go with FSX, but if you have Prepare3D, select Prepare3D. If you have Steam Edition, select Steam. So we've got Steam Edition. I'm going to click that one. I'm not going to change any of these. I'll leave them as default. Have you noticed that says Steam? So I think if it finds an FSX installation, which is alongside Steam, that will be different. But because we've got FSX, it already knows there's only one FSX installed. So I'll click on Next. And this is where you can change your definition. So if you've got a lower end computer, or, um, then you can select default. But we're going to click on high definition for the hangars, for the buildings, and the ground environment. So that's, it's not just the airport, it's the buildings around them and the ground vehicles as well. So I click on next. Uh, and now it says we, we've um, successfully completed it. So click on start. Uh, okay, now it's going to ask us to back up our original text, which we will. So click on OK. And that will take a few minutes to back up. So what it does with Rex, it will make sure that you, if there's any problems, you can revert back to your original textures before you install it. So there you go. It's been done, it's backed up safely. And now I can restore them anytime by just clicking on the gear icon, which is that one, in the top right hand corner. So if anything goes wrong, we can just click that button. So I click OK. Now I'll give you a quick tutorial. It says step one. This is the first time it, op it opens up. You must select the texture from each category. So there are all the categories there. We will go into that in a second. To change settings at any time, you click on the gear icon. For example, if you wanted to restore. Uh, step three, add to theme to select your texture choice. Uh, but you can have a lo load of different themes because there's so many different textures. You can have, uh, we'll go through that in a sec, but you can have a building which looks like, like what you see there, or there's another style. You can save them into different themes and then you can apply those themes later. Uh, and these arrows will help you navigate. So that's fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to do our first one, okay, and we're going to click on, um, there's a save themes at the bottom. So we're going to first we'll click on the main terminal building, and you, we can scroll through when we want. So let's see which one I'm going to go for. Let's see. I quite like that. No, that looks a bit too similar. We've got something a bit different that we had earlier on, on the default ones. So we're going to go for something that looks a bit very different. Now let's go for that one. So I click on add to theme, so that, that puts it in there. And then uh, click on buildings and facilities. So let's click on that one. I'll just click that add to theme. Now uh, that tells you which number you've added. So buildings, oh sorry, small hangers, that that's fine. We are only gonna we're only gonna do this um oh I left building the facilities two out. We'll click on let's click on that looks good. Click on that one. So um, that's number three. Medium hangers, I'll leave that as it is. But if you scroll through, you can see different hangers. Actually, yeah, don't leave that. Uh, large hangers. And that looks good. Click on that one, so it puts it in the large hangers. Ground environments, now we've got here, we've got the runways as well. So we're going to select that runway because it looks nice and realistic. So click on Add. So it adds it there. The jetways now, the jetways are what you walk uh, on when you get onto an aircraft. So we've got different choices here. Uh, let's see which one we got to go for. I'll go for that one. That's good. So I'll click that. Add to theme. Airport lighting now. So you've got this as well. Uh, there's lots of different lighting you can choose from. Uh, I like that one. Add to theme. And even though the vehicle models, now you can select uh, yellow, uh, white, and blue so we'll save it as that and click on add, add the theme um, parking garages uh, that's fine so uh, as, as you can see there I've added all the, the categories on the left into my texture set so I'm gonna give mine uh, PC simulators uh, texture name one theme one click on OK so now it's asking us to install our airport theme that we've just created into Microsoft Flight Simulator X. So just to recap, what we've done, we've gone through all these on the left and we've selected the, the, the textures that we like and then we've, it's asked us to create a theme and we've called it PC Simulator as one and then we click OK and it will install them. So when you go back then you want to create another 
set of textures with different sort of um, the different look then you save that as another t theme and then you can apply that so you've got a choice uh, and uh, now what we're going to do we're going to click on OK and uh, this is what I've seen here I get a log alert um, so I don't quite know what this is at the moment so um, it's saying it cannot find part of the path right I have no idea what that is so we're going to do a snipping screenshot on there and we're going to send that to Rex because I don't really know why we're getting this there so okay so that's fine so I'll click on copy and now I'll send that to Rex too because I don't really know if anyone else is getting this so I'm going to say uh, okay would you like yes to submit we're going to submit that and um, that's fine so it's done so uh, despite that error it says it's done so click on OK so now what we need to do is um, we need to open FSX and see if those airports that we looked at before look any different so click on Microsoft Flight Simulator X and uh, I'll be back in a second after it loads so here we are back at Charles de Gaulle and uh, I still can't see where my airport disappeared to so as you remember we did load Charles de Gaulle and it was there but now it seems to have disappeared so let's see is that it over there now we are supposed to get there is no Charles de Gaulle airport in view yet and it looks like it's actually made my airport disappear have a building there. Oh, is that it over there? Is that something over there? Is that Charles de Gaulle? Maybe that's his come back, is it? Is that what that is going to have a big look over there? Maybe that's it. Maybe we missed it the first time. There's a road there. I don't know. Does it look like that? No, that is that. So here is the airport, so does it look any different? I don't know. I don't see if this is it here, so the airport is back. But I can't see it that. The window's going into the floor. So what's actually happened here is it's odd. Uh, it doesn't look right to me. Bright blue vehicles. Uh, bright blue vehicles and some not great textures on the airport. So There's it. So at least it's appeared again. I, I couldn't remember seeing uh, Charles de Gaulle earlier on, but it looks like it's uh, here. I'll have to have a look at that again. So what's this look like? Let me get a bit closer. Let's get into a bit of speed. It's a bit better, this texture, I suppose, than it was last time. But I'm not blown away by it, to be honest. Um, I think it's okay. But look at that, look at this, look at this building here in the middle, I mean that's quite, quite well it's quite crappy looking really isn't it? The, the, what is it supposed to be? And the textures don't look much different to what I think was um, already there, so the jetways, it's not, it doesn't, I wouldn't say that's realistic, that is, doesn't, to me does not look realistic. So let, let's have a quick look now, um, let's go to a ship hall and have a look at ship hall. So go to airport, uh, Let's put Eham and uh, let's have a look at that. Let's go to the, the, the gates. So I click on OK. So I'll press pause and uh, we'll be back in a few seconds. So we're in uh, Amsterdam and I really can't see much difference here. I don't know if this is actually installed correctly despite following the instructions. Let's have a look. Let's just turn around. Charles de Gaulle isn't there. He's airport back. Looks very seem similar to me. I, don't know, I wouldn't say that's high definition. And that looks very, very similar. The bangings changed. Hmm. It's very strange. And those, those blocky, um, blocky polygons are still there. So nothing seems to have changed here at all. No. The, the vehicles are all yellow. Oh, there's blue vehicles, yeah. But the, the buildings themselves, I, I, I don't know. Has it changed? same to me. So, at the moment, Charles de Gaulle airport's missing, and these don't see, oh, well, seems to see is blue vehicles everywhere. So, so far, I wouldn't say that I'm even that impressed. Okay, let's press pause. 
Let's go press pause. Let's go to our last airport, which is Munich, and see what's happened there. But so far, I haven't seen much difference at all. Um, but perhaps that's because it's not installed and we had that error. I don't know. Munich. So Munich Airport is that one. EDDM. We want to start at the gate. Gate medium. Click on OK. So again, I'll press pause and be back in a few uh, seconds. So here we are at Munich. So yeah, it looks like the textures of maybe there. But um, as for the claim to say that it's uh, as good as pay wet, I'm not really sure to be honest. Um, I wouldn't have said that is as good as pay wet. In fact, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not that blown away by all this. I, I can see the vehicles um, on the floor with the bright blue colours. Um, the building themselves though, are they any better? I don't know. I mean, we had that error, like I said tried to install but I'm not quite sure. I mean the, the vehicles are there so it's installed. Charles de Gaulle is missing. The building turns detection sounds um, the lights okay look the lights are fine looks nice but I don't know I'd rather buy a Payware airport to be honest and I'm not very blown away unless they improve this. So you can see that they saying they retain in their review or their features as highly realistic. Now, I, I wouldn't say that's highly realistic. The lighting is, but the rest of it, it doesn't seem to be, for me, it hasn't worked properly. Or well, there's a bug in it, but the vehicle, the bright blue, it looks a bit silly, really. So, why would you want bright blue vehicles? What well, the hangar building? Is it the, the, the they change with the time? They, uh, it's disappointing, really, I think, because uh, wrecks do some good textures. Uh, but on this occasion, I think, really, yep, yeah, they have changed the textures on that building, but you can see, it's a bit spin around, so there's a few tanks, but is it really worth, worth it? I don't know, I, I'd rather buy the third party airports, which have had a lot of detail gone into them, and choose which one I want, rather than, the yeah, so they have changed the textures on them, on the, the hangar, you can see, but, you make your own mind about it, but I'm not blown away by this. I tell you, I, I don't really think that it's um, it's realistic as they've mentioned in their um, features. I wouldn't say it's realistic. So compared to Payware Airports, I wouldn't say that is any in comparison. We have rather UK 2000 Aerosoft Mega Airports, but okay, the textures have, have been put on. But look at those black new vehicles; they look a bit silly. So. click on P, let's click close that off and click on a yes so let's try uh, another another theme it's going main terminal let's try something let's try that one buildings and facilities let's try well that looks very similar to what we got small hangers let's try that one medium hangers that large hangers that so we know different runway as well different jetways so let's choose one with okay let's choose that one airport lighting or we leave that the vehicles are not first on this blue thing that's for sure so garages will change to that so click on uh, install texture I say yes we do so it says it's success you saw that it says success let's try it again success so it says success so right let's, let's start up from FSX again and see now if we go to Charles de Gaulle whether that's there and whether the other textures have made any difference. So I'll press pause again at this point and uh, we'll be back in a few seconds. So we're at Shipport and look at that. Would you say that's realistic and high definition? I definitely wouldn't. So I mean that is that is not. I mean, look at that, how bright that, that truck is. This, that looks awful. Sorry. This, they say it's highly realistic. But that to me looks really lame. I'm sorry. I, I, you, some of you may agree with me, but if if if, if you're going to make comments or you can make statements that's going to be highly realistic, that is not realistic. That doesn't look like an airplane in real life. Sorry, a, a terminal. Okay, it's not too too bad this side. Look by here. Um, but uh, I think what's happening here is that. The aircraft on the ground are making the graphics look better than what they are on the buildings. And 
The runways look good, yeah, uh, but the buildings don't look very good at all. I mean, they, they still look blocky. They don't look much different to what um, we first looked at. Some of you may disagree, but that's my personal opinion. And uh, well, is it worth buying? Well, I don't know. I mean, it depends really. If you if you want to add, if you think that this is good, good quality and high realistic, then you may want to buy it. But for my personal opinion, I'd rather buy individual airports because I need. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really for me um, sort of stand out and say this is what. Uh, makes the MS excellent, highly realistic. Look, look at that, I mean, look at that building there in front and the bottom. What is that supposed to be? It's just, it just looks like a block. It just looks like a block of polygons. And um, same here, it's bland, very bland. It's very bland indeed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press port. Let's have a look at a proper airport, which is um, from, uh, let's say, from Aerosoft. So let's go to Zurich. I click on Zurich. This is an airport from um, this is an airport which is a payware airport which they claim is as good as payware. So let's go to the gate and let's have a look at this as an example and uh, let's make your mind up. So they're, they're claiming that it's ultra realistic high definition. I, I dispute that because it doesn't look to me as if it's high definition. It looks hardly any different to the basic textures unless of course there's a bug in the program. Um, so they're saying it's as good as payware. We're going to load a payware airport now. We're going to have a look at a payware airport. Now, don't get me wrong. I think Rex do some fantastic textures, and especially their Rex Essentials and Nut Plus Overdrive is really good. And the clouds and everything are fantastic. But as far as I'm concerned, with this particular package, I'm not that impressed. And uh, you know, I I'm disappointed really. So let's let's wait a few seconds and load this up, and. Um, We'll compare it to something from Aerosoft. Uh, be back in a few seconds. And here we are. Now this is a payware airport. This is uh, Zurich, and uh, we are. Uh, look at the difference in that. Look, look at look at the complete difference you get here. Um, so you can see straight away that that is more realistic. And the problem is as well. Now that, that that's the problem is is these vehicles now which Rex has coloured blue. So it said it didn't interfere with third-party add-ons, but it obviously has because it's pot plumped all these horribly looking blue vehicles everywhere. Really, really annoying. And um, that's another thing to, to note. You see, everywhere you look, there's blue vehicles. It looks terrible. So let's um, let's go up and have a look from this airport. This is uh, Aerosoft's mega airport. So as you can see straight away, like the antennas on the buildings and everything else, um, and the gate numbers. Look at the difference. I mean, look at that compared to what we've just seen. So, to say that is as good as their payware is a complete in, in misleading statement. It's not as good as payware at all. And it does interfere with third party add-ons. Because it's actually just a plonk load of blue vehicles on the floor of an airport, which I purchased. So yes, it has interfered. And this is the difference. Look at that, look at the, look at the attention to detail here at Zurich. Look at that. The hangar over there, look, with the name on it, SR Technics, is it? So, the buses at the bottom there, different colour buses. So, you can see, there we are, a good look at, at the airport, let's stop it there. Look at that, look at the difference, you see the difference between the two airports that we just saw, and that is, to me, is realistic. And, you know, Aerosoft do make some good airports. And UK 2000 as well, but to say is that those worldwide HD airports are the same as payware, that's wrong. Look, look at the posters as well on, on the buildings. Let's go over here. Attention to detail on this compared to that one is a hundred times better. So let's just turn it around. So what what do I say? Well. It's a shame. I was expecting more, and uh, at the moment, if they don't improve it, then I can't really recommend this. We, we, we don't see what the point is of getting paying good money for what they say is realistic airport, when in our opinion it's not realistic. And you may as well, like I say, go and buy a package, a payware airport that you want, that you really want. Like this one, for example. It's amazing. It's amazing detail on it. So I'd rather save my money and buy an airport which I use quite a lot and have this detail than you know, quite awful, bland looking texture. So 
I'll pause it there. So that's 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 what we think of Rex, his new offering. Um, Worldwide Airport HD. It says realistic airport texture and model enhancement. So I wouldn't say it's realistic for the start. And if we go back to their airport here, it says something about the payware style treatment. And as you've just seen, that doesn't look like to me as if it's a payware airport um, if you, when you install these textures. So you get the error as well. We had that error when we installed straight away. And I don't think really I would recommend this. So if for those of you who've just seen it come out, I wait a while to see if they improve it. Um, otherwise, just buy an airport from Aerosoft or UK2000, uh, which is to me 10 times better. UK2000 scene reducing the UK airports, and you can see as well here the difference that you will get from the payware airports compared to what they're saying um, they, they've got. So if I click on this, so let's have a look at Heathrow here for. Um, uh, look at that. I mean, it's, it's just, uh, you, there's no comparison really. It's no comparison. So, our review, our, our, our review of this is we're going to give this, at the moment, we're going to give this 4 out of 10. Um, we, we don't, we're not, I'm not impressed with it. We're not impressed with it. We don't recommend it at, at, at the way it is at the moment. It looks a bit buggy for the installer and the textures don't live up to what they say they do. So, um, to let everyone else know, obviously, that's our opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but we thought we'd give you a heads up on this new release. So, for now, um, we'll leave it there. Uh, don't forget our website, pcsimulators.org. Please visit to get the latest news. And uh, our channel here is um, www.youtube.com slash user slash itai. So, that is uh, where we are at the moment with uh, the worldwide airports. I hope you enjoy this and we'll be back soon with some more video reviews. For now, thank you very much.